Hello, my name is Colin Fan. I am a pharmacy student from the California North State University College of Pharmacy, class of 2022. Today, I will be speaking about Gemfibrazole, also available brand name as Lopid. Gemfibrazole is commonly used to prevent cardiovascular diseases, such as familial hyperlipidemia. It's also used to treat hyperlipoproteinemia. And the way that this medication should be taken is to take 600 milligrams by mouth twice daily, 30 minutes before morning and evening meal. Patients should report any symptoms of cholecystitis, for example, right upper abdominal pain, vomiting, fever, and jaundice. This medication can also cause GI reactions such as cramps, dyspepsia, diarrhea, constipation, and nausea. Lastly, patients should report any muscle aches to the primary care provider. Some warnings that the patient should be aware of are if a patient has a history of hepatic dysfunction, they should take this medication with caution. Also, if they have pre-existing gallbladder disease or severe renal dysfunction. This medication can increase mortality in heart disease related patients and it can also increase the risk of cancer, specifically basal cell carcinoma in rare cases. Some common side effects that the patient should be aware of while taking this medication include abdominal pain, acute appendicitis, and indigestion. Some more serious, however rare, side effects that the patient might experience include anemia, leukopenia, thrombocytopenia. The patient may also have increased liver enzymes, myopathy, and renal insufficiency. Some pertinent background about this medication include it is an FDA-approved fibric acid agent, also known as fibric, to manage hypertriglyceridemia. It is helpful in patients who have tried diet and exercise with no positive results. Very high levels of triglycerides increase the risk factor of developing acute pancreatitis, so it's important to keep the triglyceride levels low. In recent clinical studies, gemfibrazole can, can be used safely and, and with potential efficacy and support, tr supportive treatment for infantile neuronal ceroid lipofuscinosis or children with lipid storage diseases. The mechanism of action, gemfibrazole exhi exhibits its lipid-lowering effect mostly by simulation of peroxisome proliferator activated receptor alpha, which causes a, a decrease in triglyceride levels and increase in high-density lipoprotein levels, which are the good um, lipoproteins, with a modest decrease in low-density lipoprotein. Some pros about this medication include it lowers the risk of pancreatitis, it lowers cardiovascular events, it is a good alternative for statin intolerance, and it is very affordable as generic. Some cons about this medication include it can interact with statins when taken together, it needs to be taken twice a day, it is not good for people with liver, kidney, or gallbladder disease. Gemfibrazole is available as a 600 milligram tablet or capsule for the treatment of hyperlipidemia. The patient should take one tablet by mouth twice a day, 30 minutes before morning and dinner meals. In patients with renal impairment, taking this medication is contraindicated with creatinine greater than 2 milligram per deciliter. In patients with moderate chronic renal failure, it is recommended the patient only take 300 to 900 milligrams per day. In patients with hepatic impairment, it is contraindicated patients with cirrhosis and biliary. In patients who are pregnant or lactating, the fetal risk cannot be ruled out. When taking this medication, the Patients should monitor the reduction of triglycerides and very low density level of lipoproteins and an increase in high density levels of lipoproteins within three months of initiation. 
The patient should also obtain lipid panel periodically while under therapy. For safety measures, the patient should have their complete blood counts period periodically during the first 12 months of therapy and also should have their liver function test completed regularly. And here are a list of my references. Thank you so much for listening.